cheers so today I'm going to be doing a haul video it is only going to be makeup Um, I might do a winter clothing haul if you're interested please comment below and I can get that arranged Um, I just thought I had too many products to mix it in with a few clothes and stuff so if you want to see what clothes I've been buying lately for getting ready for autumn and winter please comment below and I can get that video up but I'm just going to get started with my makeup products because I have quite a lot so yeah I'm just going to get started so the first one is my favourite MAC blush of the minute. I recently picked up Fever by MAC. It is a matte blush and I just think it is the most perfect shade for autumn and winter. It is just gorgeous and I actually had £5 off voucher so I got this for like something like £12 or something which is a complete steal. Um, yeah, been absolutely loving it. I really recommend it actually for even if you're really pale or really tan. I think this will look gorgeous on all skin tones, especially for this time of year. Um, and to be honest, you can't really go wrong with a MAC blusher because they're absolutely gorgeous. So, yep, I picked that up lately. I then also picked up another um, MAC product. It is a MAC bronzer. In Give Me Sun, I have heard so it's a well, it's a mineralized skin finish. Um, I have heard so many good things about this bronzer, especially on here on the YouTube co our community. Um, so I decided to pick it up and try it. I have been wearing a lot of fake tan lately, so this has been like the perfect bronzer for me. Um, to be honest, I think if you're if you have paler skin, I don't think it will be that great a bronzer because it is a little bit more on the orange undertone side. Um, but because I've been wearing fake tan, it's been sitting quite nicely. When I'm really pale, I don't know how well I could pull this off though. Um, but I have been loving it, really, really loving it. They are a little bit expensive, but I do say that they're worth it because you get quite a lot of product product because it is domed. Um, so yeah, I picked that up and I really have been enjoying it. Another face product I have been enjoying is my new Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade Cameo. Caitlin from Caitlin's Life here on YouTube actually recommended me this. Um, her work sells these so I had to go in and pick them up when she gave me a text to say they were back in stock. And I have been loving them. She said she did, she absolutely loved it and she th thought I would really like it because I love matte skin. And boy was she right. So... I have been loving this and it is so finely like it's just so fine that you don't need a lot of it at all like you literally need the tiniest bit so this is going to last me forever I think it's like 15 pounds or 15.50 but I would definitely recommend it for that price because it will last you a lifetime another face product I have recently recently picked up is the Too Faced bronzer um in it's a chocolate soleil bronzer in medium demand medium deep matte bronzer I cannot speak today it's such a bad day to do a YouTube video because I have not been able to speak and um, the packaging is just gorgeous and I use this actually for contouring my face as I mentioned about a million times already in this video I have been wearing fake tan lately and I've been loving it and I needed a deeper contour color Um, I've been wanting to use this for ages I have the Too Faced book of bronzers and this is in it and I've been absolutely loving it. Never mind the smell. It smells like chocolate. It smells so good. So I picked this up. It's a little bit expensive. But boy is it worth it. I love this. And I really recommend it. Anyone who is on two minds whether to pick it up or not. To just go and get it. Because my baby. Okay so next I am going to show you a few contour palettes I have been loving. Um, I actually only picked this up like two days ago this is the collection contour kit and um, it has a your contour shade and a highlight it was like something like 2 99 or 3 99 or something um, and I decided to pick it up because I love finding drugstore products that will be good for like any anyone any age and it's not too expensive for them um, so I've been loving this um, the contour shade is a really nice matte contour and then the shimmer shade is it's not my favourite highlight shade but it is good for the price um, if you're on a budget I definitely re recommend picking this up um, because it is just, it's, it's just a good wee palette um, it's a nice size and you can just pop it in your makeup bag and go 
Um, but another contour palette that I have been loving that is also from the drugstore and very, very cheap that I would maybe recommend slightly more than the one that I just showed you is the Makeup Revolution um, Ultra Contour Palette. I'll show you if I can get it open. I can't do anything with these nails. Um, it comes with eight different um, powder products. You get three of your contour shades uh, and then like a more bronzed highlight colour. Then you get three of your setting shades with two are matte and two are shimmer and then your proper shimmer highlight which again is gorgeous. I have been reaching for this palette so so much lately. Um, it's They are very very powdery products. products. Oh, I can't speak today. They're very powdery products. Um, but for the price they are amazing. I think they're like £5 or £6 for 8 shades. Like on real. And the packaging is gorgeous. Like the packaging is so so nice. Um, I got this off. I think I had to get this off the actual Makeup Revolution website because I don't think Superdrug done this but you can definitely go have a look. I really really recommend this as contour and highlighting has been going on the increase. Everybody has been loving it and this is a palette to get if you are on a budget and even if you're not on a budget like get it because it's amazing. And finally another contour kit that I have been loving 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 oh my god guys i was so excited about this um it is the laura pro contour kit like oh i never thought i would get my hands on this because it's like so hard to get over here um but i got my hands on it and i've been loving it you get six shades you get the light contour deep contour medium contour beige highlight yellow highlight and a shimmer highlight and I have been loving this. I have to say though guys, the colours are so pigmented. Like this is going to last you like 20 years because you literally need the tiniest wee bit of product. Um, but I do warn you, oh lighting has changed again. Please excuse the lighting, it's a cloudy day and the sun keeps going in and out of the clouds. Um, this is so pigmented that if you pick up too much product, you're going to have a deep ha or a deep contour like really really deep contour um they're so like the shadows in their pigmentation like they didn't feel with that but just be careful like don't go and stick a big brush in it because it will get messy very quickly but i really recommend this if you can get your hands on this i think it was about 35 pounds so it's a wee bit more expensive but if you have the luxury to be able to have that extra money, get it because it is amazing. Okay, still on face products, I have got two foundations that I recently got. The CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundations in 115 and 205. These are hard to get over here. I did get them off a friend who lives in America um, and I have been loving these. They are so good. If you can get your hands on them. Oh. <sighs> If you can get your hands on them, please do because they are very good, very cheap and the coverage is amazing. You know, like I was really, really shocked that I was going to like these just because they're just from the drugstore and stuff like that. But the coverage is amazing. Staying power is outstanding and I really like these foundations. Next is my favourite product I think I have got in these past months of buying makeup. Like outstanding products i only got these the other day but i love them so so much this is the makeup forever um hd foundation i got the shades m127 and n120 one for when i'm fake tan and one for when i'm not um if you like a dark a dark fake tan though m127 will not be your color you'll need to go a shade up um but guys Guys, 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 these are amazing. If you can get the chance to get these, like grab them while you can because they're outstanding. They're not the Ultra HD ones, which I know is their new one, um, which I'm actually wanting to try out now that I've fallen in love with this so much. Um, but these are amazing. I'll show you one of the packaging. Um, the packaging is just so cute and sleek and... I love it. It literally makes you look HD. Like, I'm not kidding you. I love it so much. It has easily become one of my new favourite foundations. Um, 
I got mine off the Debenhams website, although it is risky because you cannot try the colours, you cannot get colour matched. You kind of have to do it yourself. The best way I done it was look up swatches online and try to go off that. Also looked up a few YouTube reviews and seen what colours that the girls used and I kind of based off that. So luckily I got the right colours, thank goodness, because it is a lot of money, but boy, is it worth it. So. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to eyeshadow palettes. I've got a few eyeshadow palettes over the last uh, wee while and I want to share them with you because I've been really, really loving them. I'm also making a gorder and a gorder hmm an order on makeup geek and um, to get a few of their eyeshadows and stuff so comment down below if you want a video just on makeup geek eyeshadows because I was looking up so many videos especially because it's such a big risk because you could get charged customs getting them over here and stuff so I could let you know if they're worth it or not Um, so yeah let me know but yeah this is one of the palettes oh my goodness it is the Makeup Revolution New Trials versus Neutrals palette. Oh, I love them. You've got your perfect burgundy colours. You've got your shimmers. You've got your matte. She's got. It is just a gorgeous palette. And again, I think it's like something like six pounds or something. Um. However, I again I had to buy this off the actual Makeup Revolution website because Super Drug did not have it. Um, but that's okay because it was the exact same apart from you have to pay postage um, no matter how much you spent. So I didn't mind anyway because I ordered a few wee things off it so it was definitely worth it for me. But if you can get your hands on this, pick it up because it is amazing. And the pigmentation is so good of all their products for the price of them. Um, the next one I picked up is actually, it's off the makeup revolution site but it's called i heart makeup but I, do, I don't know why if any of you can tell me why i have no idea Um, it's the chocolate palette which is supposed to be the dupe for the chocolate bar palette that is it here this the original chocolate bar palette i'll actually um i'll actually show you it side by side off each other can you see so they are so similar guys, like so so similar. Um, I was thinking of actually doing a look of where I do one eye, the cho the original chocolate bar palette and one eye this, this palette to see how well it lives up to each other and um, to see if, if this can live up to my favourite palette which is the chocolate bar palette. Um, again, five, six pounds, <laughs> brilliant pigmentation, brilliant colours and I love it. So let me know if you want like kind of a video comparing the two um, because I would love to do that for you guys especially if it's going to be a cheap dupe of it. Next I got the Naked Smoky palette and I love this. I'm trying not to blind you with the, the mirror but um, I have been absolutely loving this. However, I am guilty of being a makeup addict. Basically, this is mostly cool tone colours. In fact, nearly all of them are cool tone colours. Um, <coughs> however, I had to buy this palette because I have the Naked 1, the Naked 2, the Naked 3, the Naked, naked Basics 1, the Naked Basics 2, and I needed the Naked Smoky palette. I just needed it. I had the collection. And I had to get it. Although I do love it, I don't reach for it as much as I would reach for my other ones. Sorry about the light changing again. Um, but guys, if you're a cool tone girl, if you love the smoky eye and all the real cool tone colours, get it. It's worth it. And the packaging is <gasps> to die for. I love it. Okay, and again with the makeup addiction kind of thing, I had the first um, Too Faced chocolate bar palette, so I had to get the second one. But boy, am I not disappointed. I love this. Look at them colours. Like, oh, I got it from Debenhams. It was £39. 100% worth it. It smells amazing absolutely amazing i love it so much and the colors are just to die for my favorite color is bomb bomb which is this rose gold color at the bottom and the um butter peaking highlight as well is just gorgeous so i had number one i had to get the semi-sweet 
and it's like a girl's two favourite things like makeup and chocolate what so yes I had to pick that up and last but not least for my eyeshadow palettes which I was so excited about it is the BH Cosmetics Carly I don't know how you say her second name like Belle or ba ba yeah, Babel ba hmm I'm not going to butcher it anymore but guys look at this palette can you see that <gasps> I love it so much you get how many eyeshadows one two three four five you get ten eyeshadows and four highlighters and the highlighters are just to die for like I don't know if you can see that we bit a wee bit and I have crap lighting right now so that is impressive. This is amazing. I had to get my friend to order it off BH Cosmetics for me. Um, it was a hassle to get it here. Like I have to say a hassle. And they are sold out now. But hopefully I think they're getting a few more in. But the packaging is. Can you. You can kind of see it. The lighting is so bad in here. Packaging is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. The pigmentation is the bomb.com. Like holy crap amazing 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 i love this and when it comes back in stock grab it while you can grab two grab three get backups because i love it that much like oh, i'm real okay and the last things that i had to show you are lip um products as yeah lip products i'm gonna start with my mac products first um First of all, I got the lip liner in Strip Down. Everybody kind of loves this. I love it now too. It's very like whirl, but a wee bit more like cooler, a cooler brown tone to it. Um, I love it. Lip Mac lip liners are my favorite type of lip liners. Like favorite brand of lip liners. They're creamy. They go on perfectly and they stay on all day. So you can't really fault them. And then the next I got my perfect winter autumn lip combination which is MAC's Dark Side Lipstick and the lip liner to match which is MAC's Burgundy Lip Liner. I think I posted, it was either on Snapchat or on, on Snapchat or on Instagram, I think it was Snapchat though, of me wearing this and everybody loved it, like so many people were asking me where did I get it from and it is max dark side it is an amplified finish so it doesn't dry out your lips which is amazing and i like to make it a wee bit matte by putting some powder on it and then of course the lip liner which is just amazing because it's a mac lip liner and they are amazing so yeah and then just today before i filmed this video i was at college this morning and i went to a wee chemist a wee pharmacy and picked up three more lipsticks one of which i'm wearing on my lips right now which is raven raisin someone on youtube and i think it was juicy jazz recommended this and i love it like i just put it on and it's like a dark plummy purple color and it is just so so stunning so i really really like this um and they're only £2.79 each over in belfast so that is a steal i love this color i then got mocha mocha licious which is this gorgeous like brown color like ready brown color gorgeous for this time of year and then I got Bare It All, which is just a gorgeous nude colour, and I love my nudes, so what could go wrong there? And that is my haul video, guys. I hope this isn't going to be too long, um, but I had so much to show you, and I've been loving everything I've bought lately. Really, really recommend everything that I showed you. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys, and leave any video suggestions down below i was thinking about doing a q a soon um if you would be interested in that and the lighting has changed again so yeah i'm going to go before the lighting changes again but thank you so much for watching and please comment down below any suggestions questions anything like this video because that would really help me out guys and please please subscribe thanks so much guys and i'll see you in the next video bye